Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to try a little experiment in the kitchen. I've never done this before. I've got a pork belly with the skin on, and I'm going to try to make a really crispy skinned pork belly. Never done it before. Uh, I've got what I need, and uh, let's give it a shot. So take your dry pork belly and poke holes in it. Took a lot more effort than I thought, so you can see me getting progressively harder and harder. You want to create like a one inch grid by scoring the skin. And what that's going to do is help you get the seasoning in there and help it dry out. So this pork belly is simply spiced. It's just salt, five spice powder, and a little white pepper. But make sure you really season this thing because it's got to pick up a lot of flavor. It's really important that you salt the skin side too because that will really help it dry out in the fridge. The trick here is to let this dry out overnight in the fridge. All right, everybody, this pork belly has been uncovered in the fridge overnight. It's really, really dried out. Uh, I'll show you the skin in just a second, but the next step is to throw in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes until the meat cooks a little bit, and then to turn the broiler on and then get it super, super crispy, and we'll see how the skin puffs up. So now it goes into the oven, and I know that I said around 30 minutes, but it definitely takes longer than that. What you're looking for is an internal temperature of 145. So the pork belly is in the oven cooking, and in the meantime, we're gonna make a dipping sauce. Get yourself some fish sauce, a lime, a shallot, and some cilantro. Traditionally, they use sugar, but I'm not eating sugar, so I use this monk fruit sweetener. It worked just fine. Tablespoon of the fish sauce, tablespoon of the lime juice, quarter of a teaspoon of the sweetener. Just eyeball the shallot. I cut like half of one up and then left some over anyway. Some cilantro and some sambal. Gave it a last little squeeze of lime just because. So this thing is done cooking. So I just opened up the door to the oven and let it cool down for a bit. And then I turned the broiler on really high. Let it cook under the broiler, watching it pretty closely for about 10 minutes. And that is it, guys. Check this out. Came out perfectly cooked. It was juicy, succulent, super duper crunchy. Really, really good.